Okay. Continuation from the topic of linearity property. <coughs> we have example number four. We will have to get the Laplace transform of the quantity 2 hyperbolic cosine of 2t minus hyperbolic sine of 3t. In this case, we can have this as the Laplace transform of 2 hyperbolic cosine of 2t minus the Laplace transform of the hyperbolic sine of 3t. Now, this is constant. Pwede natin siyang ilabas. This will be 2, then the Laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine of 2t minus the Laplace transform of hyperbolic sine of 3t. In this case, you will now have 2, then the Laplace transform of the hyperbolic cosine is s over s squared minus a squared. The value of a is 2. You will now have s over s squared minus a squared, you will have 4. Minus the Laplace transform of the hyperbolic sine of 3t, that is a over s squared minus a squared. For in the value of a here is 3. You will now have 3 over s squared minus a squared, which is 9. So you will now have the f of s or the Laplace transform of the function as 2s over s squared minus 4 minus 3 over s squared minus 9. So this is your answer. Next example is to get the Laplace transform of the quantity t cubed over 24 minus 3t plus 2. This will be the Laplace transform of t cubed over 24 minus the Laplace transform of 3t plus the Laplace transform of 2. Now, 1 over 24 is constant. This will be 1 over 24. Then the Laplace transform of TQ minus 3 is constant, so that is 3. Then the Laplace transform of T. Then plus the Laplace transform of a constant. So this will be 1 over 24. Then the plus transform of TQ falls under T raised to N. So the value of N here is 3. You will have to get the 3 factorial over S raised to 3 plus 1 minus 3. Then the Laplace transform of T is the value of N here is 1. We will have to get the 1 factorial over S raised to 1 plus 1 plus the Laplace transform of a constant is K over S. So this will be 2 over S. Now, to simplify the equation, 3 factorial is 3 by 2 by 1, so that is 6 over 24. That is multiplied to 1 over s raised to 4. Minus 1 factorial is 1 multiplied to 3, so that is 3 over s squared plus 2 over s. Now, to get your final answer, which is the function of s, 6 and 24, you can simplify this one. This can be 1 fourth. So this is 1 over 4 s raised to 4. 
minus 3 over s squared plus 2 over s. And this will be your final answer. Maliwanag po.